Hey guys, MJ Gaming Art back again bringing you another Jurassic World walkthrough on how to get your island to 5 star. So if you do end up enjoying this episode, smash a like, share with your friends, hit that subscribe button, and with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay then guys, so it's at Isla Takano that we're going with right now. So I'm going to show you guys how to get this island to 5 stars. So basically you're going to be starting off and this island you're going to be in debt. So you're going to have to sell all the shops here um, that they have here. You're going to have to sell like a lot of this kind of uh, the transport mono, monorails. Um, train line up all the way up here you're gonna have to destroy just basically nearly everything uh, to get a bit of money uh, and then you want to go they actually do have the ham creation lab there for you so you want to get in there as quickly as you can build the cheapest dinosaurs just even just like the uh, the struthia minuses um, so these guys you want to just get just to get a couple of those if you can just to get your island started off get it ticking over uh, and then what I did I was probably a little bit silly because I've unlocked this now and I could have came back once the island was done so I guess I would recommend maybe you can destroy this and it will give you a lot of money so um, yeah it will give you like 1.2 so you can demolish it and you can just maybe just keep this space free for it if that's what you want uh, and then rebuild it at another stage but I kind of was a little bit too scared to destroy it uh, I didn't want to destroy it I thought it, it's probably like one of the nicest looking buildings like on the game and to the game like to the point to this point in the game as well like you just like wow that is just like really nice I don't want to get rid of it it's worth 1 point freaking 1 million I you know it's it's nice I don't want to get rid of it so if you're like that um, you don't I mean you can just destroy it and you can unlock it it's really easy to unlock actually um, back you know and then you can come back and then you can rebuild it I kind of took the long route um, and like I'm taking now explaining it <laughs> yeah so what I done I done the little trick of where you would okay there's there's the thing there five star five star what you will need to know obviously in the future but what I did was the little trick of the fossils so what I would do is I would come back to this island well I would go to I'm cocking this up <laughs> let's go ahead with it right so I went back to my first island which I already had five star I had literally millions and millions you can see right there 148 million so I just kept going back there and what I would do I would send out expedition teams loads and loads of expedition teams they would come back with loads of these uh, different looking things that you can sell um, and then you would obviously make your way back to this island make sure that you have a fossil center and an expedition center so then you can actually get hold of these um, these fossils uh, because otherwise you can't get these fossils uh, and then eventually when you when you do actually make a little bit of cash uh, from these fossils you can actually start then sending out expedition teams of your own on this on this island 
um, which I, I still didn't do I kept going back to the other island and just kept getting more and more and more greedy and uh, just uh, yeah getting more and more of these um, these little things here uh, to sell so like gold they give you uh, yeah, all these all these different things. I mean, that one's worth four hundred thousand. That one's worth four hundred thousand. Um, which the ones you know they're really rare. Um, but usually you'd get these ones that are like two hundred thousand or or these ones that are a hundred thousand. Uh, they're the more common ones that you would pick up. But these ones are like the more rare ones, but they're cool as well. Uh, some you might even just get really low with like forty thousand or eighty thousand. But you know, every little bit helps, and you just kind of build it up and build it up, build it up. Uh, and you know, eventually, what you do is build a fence around your thing here, um, and make it like a little pen. And then you you're gonna want to put in a well. I've got a restaurant there now, but um, at the time I put in a fast food place because you need what well, you need a food place basically is what you need, and you need to start making money. So uh, you want to put a food place in if you can afford a restaurant. If you've unlocked a restaurant, then definitely uh, go to the restaurant. If you haven't, then obviously go with the normal fast food. Uh, and if you haven't unlocked the arcade and you haven't unlocked the clothes shop yet then obviously you're going to need like gift shop um, and things like that to put in there um, but as long as you've got a, a food a shopping and a fun uh, kind of shop in there then you should be okay for a little while at least but these are the three main shops that kind of just gel really well together I've used them now on a couple of islands where you you put all three in a row and the guests just I mean look at that <laughs> that's full so yeah the guests just keep going in there um, and then oh, okay we got a disease attracted what's going on that happens occasionally um, also yeah when you do come to this island there will be research into um, that's just reminded me to new diseases uh, make sure you check that out as well when you go into any new island uh, there is sometimes like a new disease uh, and you need to make sure that that's researched as well so the easiest way to go back uh, to, to do that is to go back actually to the previous island where you've made a load of cash uh, and then you're just going to have to go into your research bit there where you've already got a research station built um, and then you want to go into the medical treatment part and make sure that you've got all of those done and ticked uh, and then what you want to do as well is have a ranger station because if any time the two soul dinosaurs that you have get ill uh, then you kind of yeah you, you yeah it's not gonna work so you're gonna have to make more or you're gonna yeah they're gonna die basically um, uh, so you're gonna have to obviously buy the the food thing there it doesn't have to be this extended one it, it, I start off with a normal one so don't worry about that um, so you put that in there just to get it going uh, I unlocked a lot of these food things anyway way later than when I did this so I've just gone around and replaced them now um, uh, and then what I did I didn't go down there just yet no 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 no, no. I went up the top bit here and I built myself another pen and you know eventually I would build uh, I, would, I would make another dinosaur which was the Brachiosaurus we, we built I think next and yeah he uh, is I think a five star creature so 
yeah he he does actually get your your rating up a little bit more as well so obviously again I've got the uh, Brachiosauruses and the Diplo Docuses in there um, and then obviously um, as time goes on you want to get uh, more power stations in and you want to get uh, your monorail station in and build that and make that go round and um, it was initially here but then I worked I kind of figured okay well the guests I want to come straight to it and then get going to wherever they want to go so I kind of moved it that little bit more closer to uh, the, the entrance really because um, round here we had the shops because we bought we actually I actually built the hotel um, and that kind of closed off the little road there that I had to go to that so I actually moved uh, the monorail station I had to move it over to there so then they've got a little bit more access to it I, I think it works out a little bit better like that and then uh, we moved it around and then um, what people don't actually know is as well the monorail station when the trains going past there's actually a little dinosaur visibility going on because they have little um, a little sort of circle coming out and you can see so they can see the dinosaurs there as it goes past so that's kind of cool that helps the dinosaur visibility a little bit I guess and there's no not a single one going past while I'm explaining that's so that's cool um, but eventually yeah um, we made our way down here and we bought we we fought right well I fought right I keep saying we but I fought uh, basically I wanted to have three massive pens because I thought this area is like really really big what if I build three three sections here I initially had this right up against the wall and then I couldn't get the five star so I was like okay well I'm gonna have to have another free um, another free um, shops in here as you can see I just built them so they they want in um, some more staff in and um, so dinosaurs in this one is uh, Ceratosaurus uh, yeah that one <laughs> and uh, then we went obviously with the Spinosaurus because we came back to this island and we after we've unlocked him and I thought oh, this guy is just uh, just one of those epic kind of creatures of like 406 he goes for so um, that's very very high so that helps me out and then we've got right next to him again a T-Rex again over 400 in the rating so that really helps you out as well um, so what you want to look at as well is the dinosaurs ratings uh, you need to get over 1800 so that's where I was looking there with those two big creatures um, and then the five star facility rating there we've got a hundred percent transport rating that's, that is really good um, that is really hard to get as well so I'm doing all right there we've got the five we initially had four hotels I think um, or three 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 or four uh, yeah and I eventually I, I built another one oh, I did dance uh, <laughs> yeah I built another hotel here uh, again right next to the the monorail station that is you know what you need to do um, built another row of shops here uh, because I just could not fit in the shops down here um, initially and then I kind of worked out and I kind of thought okay well can we um, you know make this a little bit smaller can we fit something in here and we managed to do that so um, yeah I'll put that in sorted that out there uh, because you do actually get a sh look at that look at this a ton of guests just loads of them 
absolutely loads of them coming down the path sit down here because these are obviously like in the last um, one of my last islands that I reviewed uh, uh, and give you like tips for five stars and that um, basically yeah the the carnivores they get quite a lot of attention I feel like you know there's loads and loads of guests so I've put down here an, another hotel um, I had to move this monorail station because it was initially there but I had to move it um, there um, just so I could actually fit that hotel in so it, it, it is quite hard fitting all of this stuff in so if you do want to take note and you do want to have a little look at how my island is built then obviously yeah you've been watching this that's what you're here for um, I've been going around it quite a little bit now so you can actually take note of what I've got where um, also you want to make sure as well like I've said in previous videos restrooms really kind of help you out they don't make you much they don't make you any money but they make you your island like five star because it is a facility and it and it does, does need to be up there but only when you're starting making a bit of money especially on this island because you're starting off this island in debt so you want to be um, let's find this dead dinosaur so you want to be like I've lost my train of thought um, this what one's that? A Brachiosaurus. Picking up asset. Yeah. Uh, Brachiosaurus. Place him. Okay. Um. So yeah, they kind of. It really helps you out to have the restrooms there because yeah, look at that. One hundred percent. It's just changed to. What was ninety-seven? That's changed to a hundred. So they do fluctuate. It's, it's really like hard to sustain a five-star island. Um, but like I said on the last one, is as long as you've got it to five-star, and some of the other ones are five-star already. Um, if it just keeps fluctuating and it gets there, um, if you are just looking to pop the achievement for getting all the islands to five stars, it doesn't have to stay five star if it goes there for like one second the achievement will pop like no no danger about that as long as all the other islands are five star um, as well and that island goes to like one or two seconds to five star it will it will pop but then it will go back down to like 4.9 4.5 star uh, and then yeah it's, it's a little bit annoying uh, but you know you, you get you find ways you find tricks to do it um, you know as well you go through YouTube you find my video and you put it put <laughs> put your island the same layout as mine uh, you might actually get the five star so again you want the emergency uh, emergency shelters um, make sure like on each part of the island each end you know you want a restroom as well on each sort of part near your shops I guess is a good uh, place to put it um, also you want the storm defense even if that island hasn't really got any storms I'd say still put a storm defense because that might just if you're finding it a little bit um, tough to get past that 4.9 4.5 rating it might just swing it a little bit having these I'm not quite sure um, but I, th I think it's more you might have to find an extra spot to put um, yeah to put you know an extra row shop somewhere and like I said these three shops are the main shops that you need the restaurant the clothes shop and arcade because the arcade is um, high fun the clothes shop is like five star for shopping and the restaurant is like five star for for food so yeah they're like you know the, the main the main three you don't really need like yeah it's really nice you can have a bowling alley you can have a fossil zone and you can have this and that and they're really nice shops um, but they mess up your rating 
they really do like it's so stupid this game like you want these shots and they look really nice but uh, if you yeah it's, it's weird if you take them out and then you just have these three you get a five star easily but if you have like all the other ones it's, it's ridiculous like that only worked for me on one island and I kind of got a, uh, an idea of why that worked is because it was the island with the tornado on it um, so it was very narrow and literally people would just funnel straight down there see the dinosaurs that's that and then go out um, and that was that and it had a uh, monorail going from the top to the bottom you know done dusted it was just like a really tiny island this is a massive massive island this takes you know a lot of patience um, to get it to five star you might be lucky you might be able to kind of put a few things in I mean it's it's all about tweaking and and stuff and you might get lucky you might put that hotel in the right spot you might put the monorail station in the exact perfect spot you might put your your restaurants and all your shops in that perfect place where loads of people are walking down the path and they're gonna funnel along so they're gonna go in like this they're gonna all be going in these shops and there's gonna be a lot more people than this going along the road you know like it's, it's sometimes a little bit about luck um, like you can see like there's loads of people down here so this would be an amazing place to put a shop but I just ain't have not got no room unless I maybe take out some of these uh, Hammond creation labs but I'm five star I'm five star I've got these I've managed to fit these in at the end so it's probably not the best place right down the end but we've got it to five star so and it and if you've been watching all the way through you would have noticed on some of my videos as well that the the five star thing does fluctuate sometimes but on this island it is stayed five star for the whole video so i've got this island completely sorted um I think some of the other ones though, some of my dinosaurs have died so that has caused it to go down, it's nothing more than that but um, like I have said before if you go into your island rating, you go going for, for your facility rating it is constantly fluctuating, constantly like um, you know like, like that restroom rating was like 100% earlier now it's down to 84 you know it's just it's it's, it does change and you just gotta make sure you've got enough in each uh, area so that if it does change then it's gonna not change so much so then you can get the 5 star but I think I've gone around pretty much the whole island now uh, I spoke a lot about this island um, so I hope this actually helps you out I hope that you've actually taken note of a few things maybe you just needed a couple of ideas maybe I've said something that that's kind of clocked it for you and now you've got a five star island if that is the case leave a like share with your friends hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one